The Sad Story of Veronica Who Played the Violin. Veronica played the violin. At first, she wasn't very good. In fact, she was awful. Her first teacher left for China. Her second teacher, Mrs. Leone, was deaf. <laughs> Mrs. Leone read sad stories and said, <laughs> Very nice, dear. You just need to practice a lot. Veronica did practice a lot because she was determined. It was terrible for the neighbours. She is determined, they moaned. The practice made Veronica play better, so she practised all the time. Getting better, the neighbours wailed, but she practices all the time. By the time her next birthday came, Veronica could play really beautifully. For her birthday, the whole family went on a picnic. After tea, Veronica played the violin. It was her first concert. was so beautiful that everyone cried into their fizzy drinks. <laughs> Not long after that, Veronica's headmaster asked her why she never did any homework. I have to practice the violin, said Veronica and showed him. said the headmaster. You must play at the school concert. Veronica played. <laughs> that was her second concert. <laughs> At the concert was a famous music man. The next day, he chased Veronica from school, shouting that he would make her rich and famous. Thing I've ever heard in my life. Please sign your name on the dotted line. You're fantastic. Please don't run away. Veronica left school to become a star. 
soon her records were being played everywhere. It seemed as if she could make the whole world cry. Veronica's most successful concert ended with a flood. In fact, there was a storm at the time, but Veronica and her music were given all the credit. Then one day Veronica said, Enough! All I've ever done is play the violin. I want adventure. I'm off to the deepest, darkest jungle. Please don't go. Oh no, no, please no! Sobbed the music men. Her mother wept too. You'll be eaten alive! She cried. Mothers always know best. Don't worry. My violin can calm the fiercest beast, smiled Veronica. That afternoon, she went to the safari park to prove it. Because she was famous, the guards let her try. To their amazement, the lions just lay down and wept. Veronica had proved her point. And the following day, her parents drove her to the ship. They felt very sad as they waved her goodbye. Veronica thought the voyage wonderful. And at night she played beautifully sad music to the moon. The ship's pumps had to keep going all the time. When the ship landed, the men in uniform told Veronica, You can't go into the jungle alone. You'll have to go with these fearless hunters or you'll be eaten alive. Okay, said Veronica. For days, Veronica and the fearless hunters marched through the jungle. Not so very exciting, thought Veronica. She never once played her violin. Then one afternoon, as they crossed the clearing, a tiger, a leopard, and a lion appeared at the same time. At once, the fearless hunters ran away, leaving Veronica alone. Veronica wasn't at all worried. Calmly, she took out her violin and began to play. The animals stopped and listened, but they didn't cry. After days of not playing, the music sounded different. It was still beautiful, but now it was happy. Animals began to dance, and other animals arrived and joined in. Soon the clearing was full of dancing animals. Great, thought Veronica. Enough of all that crying. When I get back, the streets will be full of happy, dancing people. At that moment, from out of the jungle sprang an old lion. With one giant bite, he ate Veronica. She never even knew what had happened. What have you done? cried the animals. That was the most beautiful music we've ever heard. The old lion put his paw behind his ear and said, What? All of which explains why the streets aren't full of happy, dancing people. <laughs>